zero, thirty thousand, B ten thousand zero, C eight thousand zero, D zero and twelve thousand. You got this? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have you have you taken uh, have you noted the, the way uh, the calculations? Have you noted down the calculations? I think no doubts in this, right? I think no doubts. No, sir. No doubts, exactly, right? Yeah. Sir. Yes, tell me. Sir, I got uh, 13,000 in, uh, in this one. Where is it? In D, D. Not D, where is it? Yeah, in LL, I got 13,000, so I got 63 lakhs. It's okay, three lakh difference. One second, wait, wait a moment. I'll try to give you the clarification. Wait a minute. Okay, go for this graph. Okay, all of you should plot this graph. Okay, so here, A and B. Okay, you have A, that is... Uh, uh, okay, this is uh, 10,000, uh, uh, this is uh, 20,000, and then 30,000, 0, 30,000, and B is, uh, okay, this is uh, 10,000, and then 0, okay, I think AB is cleared, line AB is cleared, right? Line AB is cleared, right? Yes, sir. Line AB is cleared, right? Got it? Now, go for C. What exactly are C says? What exactly are C says? C is 8,000 zero. X is 8,000. At 8,000, okay, 10,000 and two points, uh, uh, okay, uh, so 5,000, 5, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000. Exactly at after, uh, no, uh, oh, no, uh, what is called as uh, eight uh, small, small divisions, you can mark it as C and draw one vertical line at 8,000, 8,000, zero. C eight thousand zero draw one vertical line got it. Is it cleared? Line C is cleared. Yes, sir. No doubt, right? Now, if you go for D, what do you what what does the D states? D is zero twelve thousand. D is zero. Zero and then. 12,000, 12, right? 12, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, zero, sir. 0, 12,000 means x is 0, y is 12,000. Now here, after 10, two small divisions upper side, and there you mark D and draw one horizontal line. Draw one horizontal line.
draw one horizontal line at D. Got it? Line D is cleared now. Line D is cleared. AB is cleared. Line C is cleared. Line D is cleared. Any questions now? No, sir. Okay. Now, you have to identify the feasible area. All uh, these things are uh, denoted as less than area. AB less than, C is less than, D is also less than. You can just go back to your previous slide. AB represents equation 1, C represents equation 2, D represents equation 3. Okay, let us go to this equation 1, 2, and 3. Look at this. Less than, less than, and less than. Okay. Here. Yeah. See? This is equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. Less than, less than, less than. If you say less than, okay, that is down the line. Less than area means down the line area. Less than means... down the line area okay if you say down the line area you need to check this okay intersections we have see dlmc this is the common feasible area this is the common less than area common less than area common less than area right understood and feasible area is dlmc dlmc right understood Anybody, any questions? Hello? No, no sir. No questions. I can continue, right? Yes, Rakshita, sir. Please. Any questions? Rakshita, any questions? Pratika, any questions? No, no, sir. Okay. I think it's all cleared, right? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Now, all the, all the clouds are clear. It's very much crystal clear how to make out the feasible area, right? Kishan Kumar? Kishan R? Arthayatana? Yes, sir. Ilham? Sutik? Aman, uh, yours is fantastically right, man. You did a right, no, very right thing. Okay, again, I appreciate uh, your good effort. Very good. Okay, keep doing uh, the right things. Okay, Albin. Now, if you go to the next one, this is what exactly it looks like. Current points, conclusion table, please. Okay, if anybody is not copied the last conclusion table, you can go for copying it. Current points, Z maximum 400X plus 300Y. DLMC, 0, 12,000 is D, L is 6,000, 12,000, M is 8,000, 5,000, C is 8,000 and 0. And accordingly, we have calculated Z and the maximum is 60 lakhs at, uh, okay, X, 6,000 and Y, 12,000. Okay, please uh, copy this slide. Please copy the slide. Please copy the slide. 
Any variations, anybody? Any variations in the graph? Hello? Any variations? Sir, ah. Sir, I got M with uh, 8,000 comma 7,000. 7,000? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, is it more than 60 lakhs or uh, it's less than 60 lakhs? It's less than only six. Okay, no problem. Leave it. Okay. Sir, I got L 63 lakhs. Is it okay? Three lakhs more? <laughs> and, uh, okay, uh, point L is only the maximum, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, you need to... Uh, check your graph once. Okay, anyway, that's fine. Whatever the answer that you're getting, 3 lakhs, somewhere nearby. Okay, that's okay, fine. It all depends on your how we have taken the scale and plotted the graph. Uh, uh, because I got uh, 6 lakh, uh, 6 lakh, uh, 6,000 and uh, 13,000. You got... Okay. Uh, Instead 13, of 12,000, you got 13,000. Yes, sir. Okay, 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 okay. You write it as uh, instead of 13, you make it as 12. Because 12 okay, you can sir. easily locate. 13 you cannot locate there. You make it as 12 only. Clear? The PPT is already shared in the group. Yesterday itself. In the afternoon, it has been shared, and so that okay, you can have a look at this. And those who got the confusion uh, might be helpful for them to correct it. It is 60 lakhs, 60, 600, 6,000, 60,000, 60 lakhs, 60 followed by five zeros. At uh, x is equal to 6,000 units, y is equal to 12,000 units. The condition it was that, okay, the demand for type A it was 8,000. See, we got the answer X is 6,000. Maybe I did wrong. One zero just like put now. Okay, sorry. X is equal to 6,600. 6,000 units. Y is equal to 12,000 units. Therefore, the objective function Z, 400X plus 3 and Y can maximize that X 6000. It is less than 8000 only. Look at the conditions they said. What the what is the first condition says? X should be less than 8000. See? X should be, what is this X? It should be less than 8000. Our answer for X is 6000. It is less than 8000. And Y may be? Less than R equal to 12,000. And we got Y exactly as 12,000. Understood? Got it? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah. Any questions? Therefore, the company has to manufacture... 6,000 TV sets of type A and 12,000 TV sets of type B in order to maximize the profit. Write down this.
All of you have copied? Yes, sir. Any questions? Any doubts? Yarga, there are doubt with you. Mahesh, Manjesh, Mayor, Manisha, Nishka, Pradipta, Pratika, Kiran, Jayant, Ilham. Sir, the conclusion part explain, Madi, sir. This is last tell, Pratipta, this is the last sir. Objective function z is equal to 400x plus 300y can be maximized at x is equal to 6000 units and y is equal to 12000 units. Illodily, nanu green al mark mud is not a point L na. Yes, sir. Al yellow nimga 60 lakhs per way contandre x and no do rs are agbeko y and no do unnets are agbeko. Correct? Okay, sir. X and re type A TV, Y and re type B, B a TV. Okay, sir. Other male last punchline, but the last ultimate conclusion is this. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir, you yeah. like the corner points in 5000 to only run and 6000 to only the Okay. Aga more laksha difference but then forty seven bandit and fifty were at the not to matter. Final answer sixty thousand all track bar the stay sixty lakhs. So you bear a barbar the stay. Answer should be there at L. Seribidi, sir. Yiga yell and gave final agar of Rinda. If your D, M, and C are for me dummy, they are useless. I am not considering them. Okay, sir. Okay. If the Nella were to get the gun, Marathmel Yell and Gotaito, D but the Yam at the C, and I am not considering them. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Arta, 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 should I go to some of the theoretical part of explaining some of the constants of LPP? Some assumptions are there. Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah. All of you have copied. Can anyone share the image? Can anyone in the group share the image? Can anyone in the share group share the image? Both graph and conclusion table. Hello. Just a second, sir. Okay. Okay, okay. Shall I wait for it or continue uploading on the next PPT? I'll upload the next PPT so that I can discuss some of the constants of RLPP.
I hope now we have got some kind of uh, you know, understanding about LPP and its solution. But these solutions are based on some constants. The solutions of LPP, write down this statement. The solutions of LPP are based on few assumptions. Okay. You take the title as assumptions of LPP. All of you write down this title. Assumptions of LPP. Take this. Assumptions of LPP. This uh, PPT is already shared with you. Assumption number one. Assumption of proportionality. Take the title number one. Proportionality. The first assumption. Number two, additivity. Next, number three. Divisibility. Number four, certainty. Write down these four assumptions. Very important for examination. Explain. The four assumptions of LPP. Explain the four assumptions of LPP. And what do you mean by this proportionality? Any answers can I expect? What do you mean by proportionality? Hello? Any answers? See, the whole LPP deals with what is called as a linear system of equations. Linear system of equations addresses the change in proportion. There is a proportional change between X and Y. There is some proportion and based on that proportion, okay, as the X changes, we are Y changes, as the Y changes and X also changes. Okay, who is this man, okay, acting on the slides? Don't, okay, uh, try to use your uh, mouse or don't touch on the screen. Just listen to me. It will create unnecessary uh, no, trouble. Okay. It is as a LPP addresses linear system of equations. Linearity is also known as proportionality. There will be a proportional change okay, among the variables. And this proportional change will ultimately create an influence on either Z maximum or Z minimum. The proportional change, write down. The proportional change among 
the variables x and y among the decision variables will influence will affect the objective function will affect the objective function right a problem uh, can be phrased as a linear program only if the contribution to the objective function on the left hand side of each constant uh, constrained by each decision variable is proportional to the value of the decision variable proportional means the systematic variation one is to one one is to two two is to one like that okay there's a proportional change this proportional change is also called as the slope of the variation okay that is bit of mathematical term and um, probably you can understand the word called as proportionality you can also call as contributions what is the contribution of variable x okay towards your maximization function at the same time what is the contribution of your y variable towards your objective function now in the last clay in the last case i can say that there is a proportion between x and y exists it is 1 is to 2 you can identify 6000 units of x if you are manufacturing and you are manufacturing 12000 units of y type a 6000 type b 12000 Okay, that is a contribution towards your Z max. Z maximum has got the contribution from two different types of variables, one from X and another one from Y. Okay, in the ratio of one is to two. Understood? Got the concept of proportionality. Likewise, each and every variable will have this proportionality in effect. Understood or not? Cleared? Contribution of decision variables. You can understand like this. Contribution of decision variables towards your objective function. Contribution of decision variables okay towards our objective function. Okay, in the previous case, it was six thousand is to twelve thousand. That is at x is to y. Understood? Is it cleared? Any answers? Say yes or no. Hello? No reply? Yes, sir. You take so much of long pause, long gap to answer. Okay. You know, the concept of proportionality in on the. Yes, sir. Okay. Anybody still facing some problem in understanding the concept of proportionality? Mahmud. Have you understood the concept of proportionality? Hello. Mahesh, Manjesh, Manisha, Nishka, Pradipta. 
Rupesh, have you understood the concept? Anybody telling no? Still you are having any problems? Okay. Shall I continue to the next one? Yes, sir. This is what is called as additivity assumption. Assumption number two. Additivity assumption. Okay. In, in simple words. Okay. In simple words, I can say this. Whatever the outcome that you are going to get from this LPP as a result. Outcome. Z maximum is an outcome. Z minimum is an outcome. Right? Z max is an outcome. Again, Z minimum is also an outcome. Right? We call them as the end results. Agreed? End results, final results. These final results are due to the cumulative effect of the variables under consideration. They have an additive impact. X and Y will have an additive impact on your objective function. The variables, the decision variables, say x comma y will have a cumulative effect. on your objective function. It is the collective result of the impact. It is the collective impact of the result. It is due to the collective impact. It is due to the collective impact of the decision variables. This is all we need to understand. You are not supposed to neglect, ignore any one of the variable. You need to consider both. After then, you decide whether X is more important, Y is more important, which proportion is less, which proportion is more. Okay, which is contributing more, which is contributing less. Okay, ultimately, you will decide during the time of the result. But while considering its cumulative effect, you need to consider, you need to give due weightage, equal weightage, equal importance, equal consideration for both of the variables. and their additive impact will decide which is more important or which is less important or which are maybe both are equally important. Got it? Understood? Yes, sir. Okay, any doubts? I don't know whether I'm reaching you all or not. Okay, because these concepts are quite abstract in nature, quite complex. You need to have a bit of, uh, you know, the power of rationality, systematic thinking. Thought process should be, uh, you know, very much logical. Then only you'll try to understand this additivity, collective impact, cumulative effect on objective function. X mathe y eradidavala. Ado, bari x in the matra and z maximum, z minimum, bara dila, 
ಬರೀ ವೈನ ಮಾತ್ರ ಬರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ವೈ ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಸೇರ್ಕೊಂಡು ನಿಮಗೆ ಆ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಅಡಿಟಿವ್ ಅಸಂಪ್ಷನ್ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡಿಸನ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಂಟ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಂಟ್ is equally important here we call constraints as variables a very constraint is equally important understood okay if we go with this textbook definition nothing will be um, nothing will nothing will go inside your brain unless and until it is okay critically analyzed unless and until it is critically analyzed and applied to your solution part that is the reason why okay i have just followed a, a, a different approach to teach you lvp first i made you to solve the problem actually problem solution varadhu konege end alli solution maartar idella helibittu nan ankonde idella masda helidre namge en arthane agala principles and assumptions anta first you solution maarsi amale then i started relating this i said working backwards will improve your understanding anta eshwant raj might be remembering it eshwant raj you are there hello yes sir yes sir i told you in the beginning okay we have to work okay from backward to forward from last to the first adike first problem solve maartide ಓಕೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಅಸಮ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಅದ್ರ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದರ್ ಎಸ್ಟರ್ ಡೇ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಆಗಿ ತಗೋಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅದ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗಿಲ್ವಾ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಯ್ತು ಸರ್ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದ್ ಸರ್ತಿ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ಕೇಳಿಸ್ಕೋ ಓಕೆ ನಾವ್ ಈ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಲ್ಲ ಆ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾದಾಗ ಓಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೈ ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ to have this simple coordinates for x and y one zero ad inna automatic ag sigutte and these coordinates will be directly plotted on x axis or y axis to draw line okay we have to have two points asthe alwa minimum eshwant ha oh, sir avudu to draw a line s yes points beku namge one two point idra sakalwa er line alli bodalwa oh hmm, sir avudu ಒಂದ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ವೈ ಆಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಯಾವಾಗ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಯಾವ್ದ್ರ ಒಂದನ್ನ ಜೀರೋ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಾಗ ಇನ್ನೊಂದ್ರ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕ್ ಆಗಿ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟಾ ಹೌದು ಸರ್ ಹೌದು ಟು ಅಚೀವ್ ದ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಸಿಟಿ ಓಕೆ ಟು ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ ದ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಟು ಅಚೀವ್ ದ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಗ್ರಾಫಿಕಲ್ ಥಿಯರಿ ಓಕೆ to solve your lpp problems we follow this method of putting zero understood yes sir okay yes, sir. i'll continue with the next one any questions anybody hello am i reaching you yes sir one second Manjesh, you are there, man. Nivedita. Nick. Okay. Anybody else? Any questions now? yeah see this particular divisibility assumption okay it is quite difficult for you to address at this point of time because there is something called as integer uh, linear programming integer linear programming alle en heltare antandre 
ओके ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಟೈಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಫ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮೇಕ್ ಸಮ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಫ್ರೇಸ್ ದ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಫ್ ದ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಈಚ್ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಫೈನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಡಿವಿಸಬಲ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಫ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಡೆಸಿಮಲ್ So, x is a variable, right? You agree that x is a variable, right? Hello? x is a decision variable, right? Accept it? Say yes or no? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah. It can be represented in percentage. it can be represented in the form of a fraction it can also be represented in, in the in the form of a decimal uh, that's what the assumption is not necessarily avagli x okay complete number whole number irbeku ante en rule illa okay it could be a fraction also divisibility i can say x is equal to 0.1 will have some problems based on that okay this decision variables can be can be fractions too the decision variables and b fractions to decimals sampled okay percentage values of decision variables are also accepted understood understood hello got it sir any questions also okay. i'll be happy to answer okay if you have any questions i'll be very much happy to answer if you have any questions and i'll answer it any questions i can address hello 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 any questions no answer yeah let us go for the next assumption that is called as certainty assumption certainty assumption what do you mean by this see lpp is based on certain information and the facts lpp is based on certain set of information guidelines one second set of information guidelines and these guidelines should be very much proper no ambiguity no uncertainty no dilemma okay if we go to the last problem the marketing manager has got the information that okay product a okay is having a, a demand of 8000 product b is having a demand of 12000 that is a very proper set information exact ag gotta unge and you can say that okay 8000 may be or may not be and he say that maximum demand 
okay, that the product A can have is 8,000. That's what it is estimated through what is called as marketing research. There is something called as marketing intelligence. A team will be working only for this. Marketing intelligence, marketing research, consumer behavior, consumer analytics. Okay, with that, there will be a team always working in the field, in the area. Okay, and they say that they supply the information to this marketing heads. And based on that, it is compiled. Okay, a report is prepared, pre prepared and they say that, okay, during this uh, you know, financial year, okay, you can have the demand up to 8,000 units for this type A set of television set. Okay, 12,000 units for type B, okay, set of T television set. Like that, they have the information. It's a just uh, kind of, you know, a kind of simulation example. Likewise, Okay, there is a lot of research going on in the field, in the business, not only television, television sets. Okay, it could be a retail market, it could be on vegetables, it could be on pack, packaged food, it could be, okay, okay, research on uh, uh, what is called as uh, imported apple, imported apple. Okay, there is a whole lot of team. Okay, especially trained from the University of Agricultural Sciences of Bangalore. Okay, they are working on this apple. Okay, what exactly the demand for apple? Okay, imported from Australia, apple imported from other countries. Okay, what is the demand? How the people in Bangalore perceive it? There are some agricultural graduates along with their uh, okay management studies okay they'll be trained only on this very well paid job they their work is only to prepare this okay okay these reports on quarterly basis just i'm giving you one example that's it that's the reason why uh, i say that Okay, we have this concept of management and the concept of LPP. You can apply it to any of the field. It is equally applicable in management, science, engineering, technology, pharmacy, research, everywhere. Okay, just this is your beginning, I can say. You are the kids, you are the infants. You are in the infant stage of learning LPP. You are in the infancy stage. Of learning LPP. Okay. Understood? Hello, any questions? Hello. Something happened, okay. Any questions? Hello. Any no, questions? Yes, Yes, you have any question, Rakshita? No questions. No questions. Okay. This is about addition variables. I'm sorry, uh, the four assumptions. Okay, it is important maybe for five marks or ten marks. You need to, you need to explain all these with the examples. Okay. And therefore, in general, okay, there are a number of constraints or restrictions expressible in quantitative terms. LPP means representing restrictions in quantitative terms, constraints in quantitative terms. LPP means, okay, it could be something, the relation between the price of input and output. 
and uh, you can have both as constants price of input is also constant the price of output is also constant okay your uh, the supply of raw materials and the market demand both are constants okay if there is a variations if there is a risk okay lpp cannot be applied lpp cannot be applied where the data is subjected to risk and uncertainty where the data is subjected to risk and uncertainty lpp cannot be applied because its assumption its uh, assumption clearly says that it should be certain certain enough the data should be perfect there should not be any vagueness there should not be any ambiguity in declaring the variables in declaring your input and output combinations and if the ambiguity arises okay you cannot have the solution okay i'm just closing at this point it's already 55 minutes okay i have five more minutes more okay you have any questions any questions you have no sir okay no samson sanjan artha aitha na pa helido yes sir yes sir okay sanjan ilva Sanjan, you are there or not? Hello. Shall I close it? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, s